What is up, YouTube? It is a Lego Fire Apparatus 123, and I realize it's been three years since I've uh, uploaded a video to my channel. Uh, life takes over, so I haven't really had the chance to do anything fun. Anyway, I've been out of the loop with Legos for a while, and I, this set caught my eye in Walmart. And uh, being an avid skier, and uh, having previously purchased the, um, the Snow Groomer set, I decided to buy this because it's really intriguing and I really like the ski patrol stuff. Um, it was 80 or 90 dollars, I can't remember how much I spent. And it's, uh, so you know, it's a good set. It's got 11 minifigures, a, a snowman and a dog, three vehicles, two built, two buildings, and some other small builds. So, um, let's talk about this. I guess we'll start with the minifigures here. And, um, Obviously, this is kind of different than what I normally do, and this is my first review video ever, so uh, let's get started. And since I've been out of the loop so long, by the way, some stuff may not be new or may have been out for a little bit, but not buying Legos for a while, it's new to me, so um, let's go over that. Okay, so as far as minifigures go... The first uh, one we're going to look at here is the female um, ski patrol. And I'm going to say she's in charge. Um, if my camera will focus, there we go. And uh, you can see she has like a normal jacket on. It's not like a snow jacket. Um, dual molded hat, that's neat. Um, I don't know. This is my first set with anything dual molded. And it's just a nice figure. You know what, I'm going to keep these on the plate that I had them on. Okay, next, we're going to look at, let me slide this back here. Okay. Next here, we're going to look at um, the snowmobile riders. So we got, a, you know, uh, one's male, a little angry looking, or a little determined. And the other one, if I can get the helmet off here, is female. So, the helmets are new. I've never seen a, uh, you know, like an ATV dirt bike helmet before. And they obviously have, like, a more of a winter jacket. You can see, like, the collar up there. And uh, I think they're pretty good. I like them. And uh, gloves, obviously, because it gets kind of cold. <clears throat> Next, we have the helicopter pilot. Uh, again, another new style helmet with this new big pilot's visor and I don't really think he's part of the rescue crew but I'm sure he could uh, do stuff if he wants because uh, the helicopter is more of a, a camera copper a camera copter chopper whatever you want to call it the other regular figures um, so you get these two ladies are advertised on the box with the hot chocolate stand that comes with the set this lady's selling it this lady's buying it both wearing scarves or it's the same mold just reversed and uh, printing on the backs of these. And, you know, I don't know. Good, good, uh, good figures. You get a sports shop clerk and two kids. And these hats, to me, are pretty relatively new, the beanie included. I think it's been around a while, but I don't know if I got any of those. But these hats are definitely new. Uh, anyway, the next couple of figures... We have a skier here, and that she has a dual molded ski helmet, which is new with the flip down goggles, and pretty good figure. Next, we have a, a pro skateboarder, and what I mean by that, if you look up there, it's like on top of the pro shop, it's the same guy, and we'll get to that later. I think, you know, be pro or amateur, I don't even know, some sort of event. Get a snowman with the set, and my first ever Lego snowman in all the years I've been building Legos. First time I've ever had a, a handkerchief and a top hat, too, so. And you get a dog. Nothing, nothing new there. I've seen those before. All right, on to the, uh, the fun stuff, the, the better parts of the set. So we'll start with the small stuff, I guess. Uh, you get this half pipe, and... You know, it's, it's a nice half pipe. The figures, 
don't really, you know, slide, but I guess you can use your imagination. Um, I don't know, nice colors and whatnot. And uh, that's all I have to really say about the half pipe. Get a rail. Slide on the rail. No. That's neat too. Um, the, I guess the next thing we'll look at is the hot chocolate stand. Now, I get a really Christmassy vibe from this hot chocolate stand. And uh, only because it's like, you know, red and red and green. You got a, a, a wreath here and a, and a pine tree. So, but you can see there's some hot chocolate mugs, some desserts, a nice uh, menu. Turn it around. There's like a, you know, a pot that you scoop the hot chocolate out of to keep it warm. And a nice sign up top. And, you know, I like that. I like it mainly, uh, I guess, the Christmas vibes. Because I really like Christmas. Um, I guess we'll save, you know, go from more, you know, save the best stuff for last. So we'll look at the helicopter here. Helicopter is a nice little, nice little build. Um, it's got a camera on it, so it's more of like for recording the event that I guess is happening at this uh, ski resort. But it's a nice little thing. It's got these two clips on the side, which technically you could probably clip the stretcher to. So it could probably be used in that aspect. But, oh, whoops. Anyway, nice little rotor. Nice little rotor. I gotta remember to stay in camera view here. Okay. So that's nice. Cockpit opens up. The pilot sits right inside with one single joystick. Oh. And the camera's clipped on one, one clip over here, and there's another one for whatever you want to put on there. Next, and I think this is really awesome, is the snowmobile with the uh, trailer. You know what? I'm going to drop the camera down off of my box here because it's not really helping. So, I like this snowmobile, and it is very somewhat accurate. I mean, where I ski, um, ski patrol pulls the stretchers on skis, not necessarily snowmobiles. I've never seen something like this, but I mean, you got the nice medical cross on the front, you know, that it's ski patrol. Two figures, both of the riders fit on this, and um, the trailer does detach, but you, know, you detach it and it, you know, sits. But uh, trailer on the trail on the little buggy, I guess you'd call it. You gotta there's a shovel, the cot, stretcher, whatever you call it, backboard, one radio, and clips probably for uh, there are you know clips on the back. You can see them for uh, maybe ski poles. Sure, why not? But I do like the design of the snowmobile. Next, my favorite. One of my favorite parts of the whole build is this nice uh, vehicle, this four by four ski patrol truck, and uh, comes with this plow, and the plow is movable, so you can all sorts of angles. If you want to be super realistic, you can lift it up when you're driving. If you're on a road that you're not plowing. And, of course, it comes off. Now, the rest of the hardware doesn't, so you're left with that goofy look in front. But, it is what it is. It's still nice. Lots of accessories. Uh, you know, this opens up one person. And, uh, it's got the nice console in there. Nice roof rack. Accessories. As far as accessories go, you have a shovel, a pair of skis, the poles, and, uh, you know, a tool kit. Which, if you want... If you want this to be like a your quick response vehicle for the ski patrol, that could be a, f a first aid bag, a med bag even. Um, it's nice, and the way it's designed, you know, I've had a someone tell me they think this almost looks like an old school Chevy Blazer. Uh, obviously, it's probably supposed to be a European design, not a American Chevy, 
but the old school blazers were convertibles so you could easily take these pieces off and boom now you have a not wouldn't really be practical for a wintertime ski resort but I don't know it's just something I'm throwing out there so that's what I like next uh, pro shop the pro shop is super awesome starting out small it comes with this little sign and you got a sail helmets snowboards sail you know a hat and some some snowshoes there looking at it from the front it's open military time eight to eight um, you know it's got this nice nice front I like the detailing up on the roof here you got the big video screen up there and my guess is no, it's, it's it's supposed to be this guy on the half pipe recorded by the helicopter. That's what I'm putting together out of this. So anyway, back to the front here. So you can see you got a, a, a rack here with two snowboards. I don't know if it's supposed to be a sales rack or like a ski rack. You know, skiers put their stuff there, walk inside and shop around. But you look through the window, you got a pair of skis, a pair of snowshoes, a nice uh, winter hat, a ski helmet, and a snowboard. And the door opens. And another snowboard up there, which is meant to be more of a decoration. But I guess you could use it if you want. And uh, there's a nice uh, snow detail on the roof. Okay. Spin it around. Look at the inside here. Cash register. Um, you know, pretty much the same as the outside. But you do have another set of, you have another set of skis and some poles in there. So that's about it. Um, but I really like this. Next, the big, the main part of this set, get everything out of the way here, would be the Ski Patrol, um, not headquarters, but like their monitor, their station, their Ski Patrol station. So you look at it, looking at it, uh, from the front here. Um, got, got some information. I'm going to slide it back here. Uh, you know, they got trails. Uh, a map of the, the trails here. Bring it up closer. You know, your easy, medium, and hard trails. They're all open. Got a thermometer over here. You know, you know your forecast and whatnot. Uh, left side of the building... It's got some tools sitting there for just in case, why not? You know, a wrench, an axe, chainsaw, and a broom. Other side, you have a mountain map of Mount Clutchmore. So you can see you got your, your easy trail, your medium trail, which connects to the black diamond, the hard trail. The red line is the ski lift. Medical center's down here, and there's a nice little pond that's that okay so it's a two-story building we'll start on the first floor so you have if it focuses here there we go an examination table that would be uh, surprise surprise for the skier that would you know break their arm maybe in their in the, the half pipe competition or whatever but, and I'll just use another figure here. And the set comes with this nice cast. And it just clips into the hand and goes, if I can get it here. So it just clips into the hand and goes right over the arm. And I think that's pretty neat, actually. So... Monitor state, monitor, you know, examination table, uh, syringe, because why not? Got your desk with your computer and your coffee mug, pretty, pretty typical Lego stuff, and uh, the cast. If we look, if we take a look upstairs, which I guess I'll pick the camera up for this. 
so the roof flips open. Got an inward swinging door here. But upstairs you got all your, your tools. Over, well, over here, you know, you got a, uh, I guess another computer or whatever. Coffee mug, dessert. Here you got radio, binoculars, and two ice picks. And that's pretty much the extent of the set. Um, there was plenty of extra pieces with this set. You got some extra cakes from that. Um, you got some extra of these. An extra snow pick or ice pick. Extra ice pick. You get an extra ski pole, which that plus the uh, extra ski pole I got with the snow groomer. Um, now I got another set of ski poles. You got extra scarves and or you know stuff like that. So definitely a lot of a lot of stuff. In fact, since I'm doing this stuff, I might as well take a look at the groomer right away. So let me go grab that and I'll be uh, right back. Okay, so this is the groomer set. It comes with one skier and the groomer driver, which could very well be a you know a maintenance guy from the mountain, and uh, kind of looks like the ship captain from Jaws, really. So let's put him back in the groomer here, and uh, the skier wearing you know an ex extreme sweatshirt, which is the same sweatshirt that the uh, little girl comes with um anyway could totally be uh part of the uh, the half pipe you know competition whatever so uh that's that the groomer and uh pretty accurate now this does raise and lower a little bit um it has a wheel underneath that allows the, it spins the middle uh, cog here, which helps the treads turn. I did try taking the wheel out to see how well they move on carpet nicely. On hardwood floor, not so much, obviously. Inside the groomer, there's a coffee mug. Um, the groomer does come with this stud launcher to, to launch uh, snowballs, and... I guess that's a nice play feature. Groomers in real life actually have like a rake on the back to rake the snow up, but what are you going to do? You can't complain, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, that's it for the snow stuff right now. I don't think they uh, released any other ski sets. So, uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment if uh, you think I should do more review videos or if you should up if if you think I should upload more of my uh, fire truck stuff because I've been building a lot lately um, well not a lot I haven't built in a while but I have a lot of new stuff that I can definitely show and um, when I get the time maybe I'll try to do a stop motion I want to do a longer like a full length video almost but I never have the time to put that together, so, well, let me know, um, just leave a comment on the video and tell me how you liked it, tell me how good my first review went, and, uh, catch y'all later, this is Lego Fire Apparatus 123, back after a three year hiatus, signing off.